Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm doing kind of an interesting video. The topics are going to be two topics. One is this computer right here that I'm recording on and I've also got another topic that's planned for an upcoming video. You guys can let me know how you feel about it. The first interesting topic is this installation. Now this install is unique in that I uh, went ahead and installed Linux on my 2009 Apple iMac. And I'll show you that. As you can see, this is the desktop that I'm running. And I went ahead and installed Linux on this iMac. Um, it wasn't too difficult. It's it's more difficult than a standard Linux install. Uh, I wanted something for for a couple of reasons. I wanted a distribution that I knew would um, handle drivers for the components within the iMac, but also I wanted to uh, make sure that because this is a 2009 the graphics card that Apple used is an old one obviously and uh, but it is an Nvidia graphics card and so I wanted to make sure that I was able to handle any graphics issues any screen tearing things like that so I knew that Zubuntu um, basically handled everything that I needed uh, that I wouldn't have any screen tearing, that I could use a bit of compositing for transparency. And so I went ahead and installed Zubuntu 17.04. Uh, and that's what you see here. Now, I've got all my standard components working. As you can see, I've got a Yeti microphone. I've got a trackball, a Logitech trackball, which is wireless. I've got a wireless keyboard. When I switch over, I'm dual booting with OS Mac OS Sierra. So when I when I boot into Mac OS Sierra, I use this uh, white keyboard. That's an Apple wireless keyboard and an Apple wireless mouse. So I've got pretty much everything working. No issues. Um, let me minimize that. If I go up top, you'll see there are uh, all my Wi-Fi networks. Uh, so I don't have any issues at this point. Everything's working terrific. Now, um, I'm not sure if the Bluetooth drivers are working properly because I haven't tried to connect anything. But uh, other than that, as you can see here, everything's working fine. Conky, no issues with uh, shadows or anything like that. I've got Plank as my dock, no issues there. Um, if I go into my settings, um, I've got display compositing. I've got some transparency on moving windows as you can see. No issues there. So everything installed uh, properly. I was very happy about that. Now if you do have an older Mac, see the, the issue with this Mac as I said it's 2009 so the components are old. I'm fortunate in that this particular model um, was able to be disassembled and I replaced the mechanical hard drive with an SSD that was a big increase in speed I also put the maximum RAM that this iMac will take which is 8 gigs um, but the graphics card obviously I'm not able to upgrade and so it is what it is and some of the gaming is a little choppy. Uh, I noticed War Thunder is a little choppy. 
but other than that as you can see I've got Hearthstone installed uh, and works fine I've got Steam installed everything works fine no issues at all and so let me show you the um, guide that I used this is the best guide that I have found in order to install and dual boot Linux on a Mac now before I get into that let me show you Gparted now Gparted as you can see my main uh, drive is an SSD I've got Sierra installed and I've also got Linux installed on this SDA4 petition so as you can see it's on the same drive I'm not even using separate drives and it's working fine now I've got a data drive or a media drive 2.73 gigabytes and uh, it's an external uh, USB drive and I've also got uh, S yeah, I've got all my Linux files on a separate external SSD. So um, the only drive internally I have is the one SSD. It's uh, roughly, I've got 111 and 110 with a couple of small partitions. Uh, but everything's working fine. No issues at all. So at, now, as I said, this guide is the best I have found. And if you're going to try to do something like this, this is the one I would recommend. I'm not going to go through all the steps. It's pretty easy to follow. Just make sure you back everything up and uh, go step by step, just step by step. Now, when you format your USB drive in order to install Linux on it, it's different than you would if if uh, you were installing on a PC. So you'll need to use different parameters when you format the USB. All of the information is in the guide and it's terrific. It's absolutely terrific. I followed it through. Uh, didn't take long, maybe an hour, and I had the whole thing done up and running. So I'll put the link for this guide in the show notes but the biggest change is the biggest and you don't have to do this but um, in order to uh, have a graphical boot screen that's easily accessed when you turn on the machine what you'll need to do and again you'll need to do your petitioning within Apple's uh, disk utility um, but the boot is the R-E-F-I-N-D, refined. So that's what I'm using as my boot manager. And that works terrific. When I turn on the machine, this is what I see. I see my OS, Mac OS petition. I see my Linux. So, um, and I'm gonna show you a screenshot of that towards the end of the video, but um, this guide it was a lifesaver it, it really is thorough it's got all the information that you could possibly need and then you'll have Linux and Mac OS uh, booting dual booting on your Apple computer and in my case it's a 2009 early 2009 iMac this is the 24 inch so I wasn't sure if I was gonna run into any issues with the desktop uh, but but everything uh, basically configured itself no problem at all it's a 24 inch it's a very high uh, density pixels it's very very sharp and clear as you can see so no issues at all I worked out fine and let me show you the boot screen this is the uh, right there so this is the boot manager as you can see it's refined it's got my Mac OS and my Linux um, 
don't really have Windows, but it's picking up my uh, NTFS petitions on my external drive. So, uh, but it boots perfectly, no issues at all. I can access either Mac OS Sierra or my Zubuntu install. Uh, I don't intend on putting multiple Linux distributions on this computer. Um, the hard drive isn't that big, so I've split it half for Mac OS, half for Zubuntu. As I said, everything's running fine, and so um, I'll put the information on how I did it in the uh, show notes. And if you have any questions, just drop me a, a note or send me a message or put it in the comments. Um, just And one more thing that I'm going to uh, share with you. I um, am going to be putting together another computer. Now here's what I'm doing. I, um, um, you've heard me refer to my computers as my primary computer and secondary. Well, um, what I've done is I've ordered uh, an ATX case, which is a larger, it's a mid-tower, um, and a I've ordered another motherboard, which is an ATX motherboard, and that is going to enable me to uh, put my NVIDIA graphics, um, my Broadcom Wi-Fi, my Realtek Wi-Fi, and six different SSDs. Um, some with data, but most of them carrying operating systems. So it's going to uh, enable me to do a much better job on uh, installs and give you guys more information on the installs to make sure that um, you have a, a pretty good comfort level that the hardware that you have would be configurable and that the drivers are available. Now I'm going to use my uh, NVIDIA GTX 760, G4 760. Even though I have what's considered to be a newer card, um, the 1050 Ti, uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put that in. Only because that one is still iffy on drivers. Um, if I have room to be able to put two different graphics cards, I will. And I will when I do an install, I'll access drivers for both of them but I'm not sure that I'll be able to do that so I'm probably going to use the GTX 760 and my Broadcom Wi-Fi um, I'll show you some of the components the Broadcom Wi-Fi is a Mac OS compatible Wi-Fi combination Wi-Fi Bluetooth that I purchased when I started building Hackintoshes. And I am going to use this computer that I put together. One of the uh, operating systems that it will have in it is Mac OS. So I wanted to make sure that all of the, comp all of the components are Mac OS compatible. And so I think I have a good handle on that. And so let me show you I um, have let me pull this down. I have the motherboard coming in tomorrow. The case is coming in on Saturday, so I'm going to start building this on Monday. And let me show you what I have so far. If you take a look on this photo, follow my cursor. It is the uh, this is the power supply. And then this is the 760 NVIDIA card right here. It's a dual slot, so it takes up a fair bit of room on the motherboard. Then I've got a, a, all the cables. Now I'm going to be putting uh, two or three cooling fans in the mid tower just for airflow. And then over here you can see I've got a, a water cooled. Uh, CPU cooler that I'm going to put. Now the CPU I'm going to use is my i7-4790. 
Uh, it's a 4790K. It is overclockable. I'm not sure if I'm going to overclock it, but um, we'll see once I go ahead and put it together. So I've got the water cooler for the CPU. This is this card here with the antenna that you see is my uh, Mac compatible uh, Wi-Fi Broadcom, uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And it uses Broadcom drivers, which are readily available now within Linux. So I shouldn't have any issues. The uh, four sticks of RAM, each eight gigs. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. There's the CPU, and that's just waiting. So I've got everything ready. Now this little card here is a is a FireWire card. I have a couple of FireWire drives that I still have, so I'm going to be able to plug those in. Uh, to my FireWire card. It's a little PCI card. Should be plenty of room for it on the motherboard. So I've got everything pretty much ready. Oh, and I've got a, a, a Blu-ray um, DVD, CD, DVD player. It is a Blu-ray Blu and I'm going to install that. Now, as you can see, I've got four SSDs stacked up here and I've got two more that I'm going to add. So it's going to be six, well, at least six, because um, I've got six, six uh, SATA connectors on the motherboard. So there'll be six, and uh, there'll also be a couple of external USB drives. So this computer, uh, basically I'm consolidating two computers into one. Now I will have some components left over that I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to video the uh, assembly process when I put this computer together. Uh, and I'm assuming that you probably would, so that's the direction I'm going to head in. As I said, I'll be starting that process on Monday. It should take me not more than a few hours to get everything running. And then I will, um, uh, then I'll upload the video, show you the build process, and I'll show you what the computer looks like completely finished. So guys, I hope you um, enjoy this video and the one, the, the uh, upcoming videos, especially this uh, computer assembly video, I think should be very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have Windows 10 running, Mac OS Sierra and probably six different Linux distributions. So guys, that is it for this video. Uh, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.